Today we're not going to be fishing. Actually, we're going to be showing you a cool project that we have coming up. We hope to get started on it pretty soon. So, behind these doors, look at this. There she is. So, this is an old town, old town canoe 174. Oh goodness, old town discovery 174. Sorry about that. And I know it probably just looks like an old canoe to you guys, but actually, it looks pretty good for the most part on the inside. So just, you know, standard stuff, handles, little bolts. So it looks like a pretty basic canoe on the inside. It looks really good. We actually picked this up last week. It was only 300 bucks. And for 300 bucks, it looks pretty solid. There's not really a whole lot of scratches or anything. I mean, that's obviously a little worn out, but who cares? The bottom doesn't really look that bad. On the inside, everything's really just nice and clean. Just has a bunch of dust and you know, old snails, because why not, we're in Florida. The only other modification that the old owner did was put in these little wood planks right here and whatnot. And you might be asking what we plan on doing with this. We actually plan on making it so it's basically going to be like a little mini skiff. So if you picture it, we're just going to keep the two seats in here like such, like they are right now. And then right, maybe like right here, we're going to add another post, another post. And then this, I want it to be an entire like casting platform right there. And then if you use your imagination again, I want to make it, I want to make a bigger hatch right here and two hatches right there. And then obviously I want it to be uh, controlled by a trolling motor. So we're going to make a trolling motor mount up here. I want that on the left side. Then we're going to store the two batteries right down here. What's up, bud? I know. <laughs> And it's actually, this is actually mostly because of him, because I want to go fishing with him. And I obviously, my car is not going to tow a flats boat, a skiff, or a john boat at the moment. So this is the next best thing. It will just go right on top of the car. It's only about 80 pounds. It's really not that heavy. It's just really awkwardly shaped. So it's really, it's just awkwardly shaped. That's it. I looked it up. I think these can hold a about a thousand pounds I mean we're not gonna have that much in this boat obviously but yeah I'm really excited about this I think it'll be really fun to kind of just DIY DIY this I used to um, fish off of kayaks all the time it was a ton of fun a ton of fun obviously I didn't record any of that it is what it is we actually found this uh, this is actually the, the wood that I want to use we actually just found this right outside literally right next door, they were just getting rid of it. So what we're gonna do is if you envision it, we're just gonna literally sketch it out. So we're just gonna sketch that out, sketch that out. That's gonna be like one layer to the platform. I want two, I want two of those just so it's a little thicker. Then we got this other scrap wood over here. But yeah, you know, just, I just think it's gonna be a fun overall, just little DIY project. It's going to allow us to get on the water for cheap. I, I really hope to show you guys that you can do this for really cheap. It's not expensive. I mean, from the get-go, this is already only 300 bucks. This is 300 bucks. The trolling motor that I've found on Craigslist is, I think it was two, 250. So right then we'd be at 500, 520 or something like that. So it wouldn't be, it's not terribly bad. This is a lot cheaper than even like a John boat or something along those lines. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to make this video. It's going to be really fun. I can't wait to get this thing fully redone. I kind of even want to repaint it. I kind of want to do a, a blue a blue up top and then on the bottom, I kind of want to do it like a two-tone. So blue up here and then like starting right down here, down white. I think that'd look good. But yeah, we're really excited to get this project started. I don't think it really should take all that long. I hope to get this done roughly in the beginning of 2022 again i don't think it'll be that expensive i don't think it'll take that much time again i think this is going to allow us to get on the water obviously it's going to get us into this back backwood spots that i love fishing and yeah it's just going to be a whole lot of fun starting this project and kind of getting this all done and set up and seeing where it takes us I, i'm really excited to 
get out onto the water on this guy and hopefully catch some nice nice fish but yeah I mean it's it's just weird because you always kind of think of Florida you want like a, a flats boat or a skiff or something like that or a John boat and I was kind of looking at uh, I can't say I can never say the word GNU or GNU canoes and those are obviously a lot more expensive than 300 dollars they're heavier most of the times you'd need a trailer you can't just put one of those on the top of your your uh your nissan versa <laughs> so that's why we opted for this guy it's 17 foot i think we'll get like a 45 or 55 pound trolling motor which i think will do just fine on this i think that'll pull this guy along just fine and again it's just going to be simple stuff like trolling motor trolling motor mount and then i'm going to make like a little box under here out of wood put the two batteries in and then this is probably the trickiest part obviously just make a casting platform and again just like big hatch small hatch small hatch and I'm, i might try and design like a rod tube holder going down the side i'm probably only going to ever carry two rods on this just because i think that's all i'll need and that and then i might do something up here but again i like these seats so i really want to keep these they're really sturdy and really nice and i mean i think he'll he'll wander he'll mingle around in here or something so yeah i'm really looking forward to this project uh, again i think the actual building process should probably only take about a month a month or so and then we'll be able to get on to some cool backwoods stuff we might even be able to go out into like some salt water some like maybe flats fishing but yeah, get out onto some different types of water, get into some skinnier water and just really get into it. I, I think it'll be a whole lot of fun. And yeah, I hope you guys are excited to see what see what it comes see what it comes out to. But yeah, this I think I'm I'm really excited about this. Yeah. I just wanted to give you that guys a little short update about what we're kinda doing. So if more videos come out, come on, bud. So if more videos come out of us really not fishing, more of just working on the canoe, you guys will kind of understand. But other than that, I hope you guys like the video, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one, and let's get this project started.